What's up, gang? How's everybody doing? Alicia, Tim, Almighty Swag, how's it going? Camillo, my man Sharik, Jen, Mike, what's up, bud? You're here early. Everyone have a good day? Ready to play some video games? I am. Hey, Alicia, how you feeling? You feeling better? I love that we get the whole gang here showing up early now. It's great. <laughs> yeah, Jin, you actually beat me to the stream. <laughs> oh, we're uh, we're rocking the Bruce Lee today. He's gonna bring us luck. Oh, I'm glad to hear, Alicia. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Figured some people would like it. Yeah, at least you still got to rest and take it easy, eh? <laughs> you know, I've never seen any Walker Texas Ranger, Tim, but I did hear once that on the set of Walker Texas Ranger, uh, Chuck Norris brought a baby lamb that had been killed on set back to life. He then roundhouse kicked it in the head, killing it. Thus proving that the good Chuck giveth, and the good Chuck also taketh away. Just in time- oh, are you gonna come by the Christmas party, Alicia? You know what? We did promise Devil May Cry, so let's get into it. Ah, thank you, Camillo. I will check those out after this. <laughs> it's my favorite Chuck Norris joke. Yeah. <laughs> Beneath his beard, there is no chin. There is simply a third fist. <laughs> Chuck Norris is great. But again, someone that I've watched surprisingly little of. Even though I've always wanted a pair of his action jeans. That's okay, Alicia. Don't worry about that. You just focus on getting better. All right, here's the the uh, the first couple awkward ones. Oh right, gotta get used to the buttons again. Trickster swordsman, nope. Trickster, there we go. Ah. God, I gotta remember the buttons in this. Reagan and the Fluffy are good there, Mike. Again, Reagan's teaching and Luna is hiding under the bed. What did you find, Alicia? So I definitely forgot what's happening in the story. That's the only uh, downside to playing this thing once a week. Yeah, Luna had a tough day. She had to go for a walk this morning and then she had to uh, nap all day and then go outside and play fetch and then nap some more. She had a rough day. A uh, headshot final fight is on my list, almighty swag. It is. It's been on there for a while. I really have been meaning to get to it. I'm sorry it's taken so long. Cola, root beer, and cream soda flavored ice cream bars. I can't remember the last time I had ice cream, to be honest. Now I want sweets. That's okay, Alicia. A box of 30? Yeah, 
Oh, I want to target the other guy. Oh, man, I'm so rusty at this. Zell's here. What's up, Zell? You know what? I've never had a fudge bar. Ever. In my entire life. I've never once had a fudge bar. Alright. <laughs> Can we jump off there? No. What was the 3 2 1 countdown for? Oh, hello. What's down here? <laughs> They're gonna go on a date to the gym. Ah, uh, boom. There we go. And ah, I really need to get Dante the double jump. There we are. <laughs> you just gotta share your ice cream, though, Alicia. That's the only downside. Yakuza Apocalypse Frogman suit? What? Ah, Sacred Spectral Sword. What's up, dude? What's good? <clears throat> Let's see what's over here. Ah, hey, look at that. Hey, that's a pretty good prescription, Tim. That sounds like a good doctor. I used to have one of those bulb things back in the day, but, uh... Uh... Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind you posting a link. That's fine. I used to have one of those bulbs, but uh, the only thing I found with it was it was really easy to knock over, even when I was, like, younger, like 16 or 17. Hmm. It's not good. My PS5 controller is sticking. That's not good. Not in this game, anyway. Ah. Ah. You know what, that makes sense. I guess you can't have everybody posting links all the time. You have to send it to me, Mike. Send it to me on Facebook. Ooh, nice Alicia score. I'm sorry to hear that, Tim. Uh, where do we go now, guys? Let's see. I kind of lost it. Da -da. Nope. Can't go that way. Can't go up there. I guess we have to go back up. All right. We haven't got Nero's Devil Tricky yet, have we? Oh, man. Oh, okay. Out there? Is that where we go? 
Nope. Damn, it looks like it. This way? I'm so lost, I'm so turned around. What is that? Oh, yes! This is the rocket launcher I was thinking about. Where is there an orb? Up here? If it's the one downstairs, we got everyone downstairs. <laughs> I'm sorry, Anjong. I'm sorry. Would you guys like that one for tomorrow? Uh, I will equip it next. Would you guys like uh, the final fight in Fearless for tomorrow? Does that sound good? Because I hadn't fully made up my mind as to what was going to do tomorrow. Oh, the weather here has been good, actually. It's been a really nice day. It's been a little bit chilly. But other than that, it's been really nice. Okay, final fight. Ah, the enemies. There we go. Final fight and fearless tomorrow. Okay. No, no heavy rain. It's supposed to rain a little bit. It's supposed to snow tonight, actually. It was supposed to snow. Uh, I got the orb that was back there. Uh, Jin. The one that was downstairs. I did get that one. Unless there's an extra one. Boom, boom. It's down here. Down there. Not there. Yes. No. Yes. Because there was one there, right? Hey, Viper, how's it going, man? Where? Uh, no, I got an orb here. Yeah, hey, there we go. Where's... I didn't see a secret mission. Oh, way back. Okay. Um. I'm 31 on January 5th. Hey, that's sick. Being able to do a back handspring is awesome. I've never been able to do it. Oh, yeah, it's okay. I'll come back. I'll get it another day. Wee. That's all right. I'll get it another day. Not a big deal. Yo. You call on Slowpoke? I'm zooming around this place. <laughs> back handsprings, good for the back. You wouldn't think that, uh. Well, Mike, if we don't see you on Tuesday, I guess we know what happened. Ooh, hello. But, uh, alright, so. Okay, so tomorrow, final fight and fearless. Got it. There you go, Enjong. Oh. Hey, man. I've only just gotten to grips with being 30, and then I'm 31 in like three weeks. It's weird. Come on. Keep messing up the uh, the buttons for the different standards. Standard stances. Whoop. Damn it. Get back here. Easy. Easy. Huh. 
<laughs> oh, 100% Jin. Absolutely send that to me. That'd be great. Up we go, I suppose. Seems like the fastest route. <laughs> ah, Jin, enjoy, enjoy your youth. Oh, <laughs> that's what you mean. I'd love to go skydiving, though, if, like, for real. I think that'd be really fun. Uh, so, Viper, amateur fights is, like, it's where you start your fight career, right? So, you go in, you fight other people who... It's when you don't fight for money, you're fighting for experience. So, there's sometimes there's different uh, rules that you'll fight under. Go. That's what the rocket launcher does. Damn it, these guys are hard to catch. Come on. What the hell are you supposed to do? There we go. Finally got one. I don't mind flying. Oh. And yeah, skydiving's always been something I'd like to try. Oh yeah, Mike, it definitely has. Why don't I participate in the uh, UFC Viper? Hey, I don't do MMA. I do Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And I also, uh, I don't train like a fighter. I don't, uh, I don't get, I teach, I coach. I don't have time to train the way a fighter needs to. And fighters need to be very, very, very selfish. Uh, when it comes to their training, right? They need to come in there and go get out. It's my time to get better. That's what they have to do. And that's not me. I like coaching. Coaching is my big thing. I find it way more fun to coach. But I am training for a fight now. Uh, it'll be my first fight in like 10 or 12 years. So it'll probably be... It'll just be amateur. It'll just be for fun. But uh, it will be, I think, bare uh, not bare knuckle, but bare shin. So that could be really fun. It's gonna suck for the other guy. Yes, Viper, they can. UFC fighters can definitely strike very, very well. Look at what Max Holloway does to people. It's crazy. Actually, I just bought a Kamagawa boxing gym t-shirt. I can't wait for it to show up. Oh, Alicia, speaking of our uh, unbalanced kids, I had a kid literally fall over while standing perfectly still the other day. It was hilarious. He was just standing and then just went boop and just fell over. <laughs> oh, yeah, but uh, that's the thing, though, uh, Viper, is so is the other guy's shin. It's going to suck. Get more red orbs. Yes. All about the collecting skills. I will when I get it, Camillo. I'm gonna wear it during the uh, during any and all Hajime no Ippo reactions. Uh, no. Yeah, and that's that's totally fine too, right? Like, um, 
like if you some people don't want to teach or they want to just get better themselves and make themselves better that's totally fine you know that's the role that's the the road you want to take with martial arts that's cool do that but for me i like being able to pass it on and i always try and learn anyway like i went and trained with my coach today and i got to learn a lot so that was great so i'm always trying to learn and improve no matter what got to be the best that i can be for my students uh no it's not snowing yet i think it's supposed to later but i don't know <laughs> that does sound like you alicia luckily there was no stairs nearby That's gonna take you a while, Tim. Absolutely. How about I take it in a little? Honestly, Jin, practice. Practice is the best thing, man. This. What was that trophy that I just got? That was some damn cinematic fighting. That was sick. <laughs> yeah, Gustavo, this is my first time ever playing it. I loved the first three. Never played the fourth one. Played the weird spin-off one. And then uh, this is this is awesome. This is sick. I can see that being a really hard one to do. Um I don't th I, honestly Viper my opinion on Bruce Lee upsets people uh, I don't think he was a good fighter I think he was an amazing martial artist I'm not taking anything away from him and he definitely like knew how to handle himself but he never really fought anyone I don't think he's unstoppable unfortunately he passed away before being able to really show um, any real fighting ability right because most of his stuff is movies and philosophy. So I don't think he's unstoppable, but I do believe that simple techniques work. Yeah, absolutely, Camilo. He definitely was a philosopher. And he was a great martial artist. I'm not denying that. I'm not taking anything away from him being a phenomenal martial artist. I'm just... I don't think he was as good a fighter as he was. And... Uh, as as he was as people say right people blow it out of proportion his legend has just become this this massive massive thing that is just blown like so out of proportion like people saying he had a 700 pound boxing bag that he would kick and it would hit the ceiling and stuff like that i'm like that doesn't that's not how it works <laughs> you can't do that to a punching bag <laughs> <laughs> I played number three so many times, Gustavo. I'm with you, buddy. I would play number three so many times. What are you then? It does matter. I'm a shadow of my former self who lost everything. 
Someone should mod go for chucks into this game. I will tell you the story of my birth. Oh. Really, Jim? The one I've never played. Yeah, you can't do it, Verdugo. No, I can't, Viper. I'm not that athletic. <laughs> also, I've never practiced doing gainers. Oh, yeah, no. Bruce Lee, super, super talented. Absolutely. He just, uh... Wait. I have a motorbike that I can attack with? How? What? I can attack with a motorbike? <laughs> the guitar in DMC3 was like my favorite weapon. Oh, the, the three nunchuck thing? Yeah, Cerberus, I think it was called, right? Oh yeah, man, Bruce Lee like had some fantastic techniques for sure. And the step up sidekick he did was mint, absolutely. And it would have been, it would be super interesting to see uh, what would happen if he was alive now, right? If he wasn't like, you know, the, the, the father of MMA or whatever it was that people always call him, if, uh, if he actually competed now, it'd be really interesting to see what would happen. And I would be down for that. And I think that he probably would become a very, very highly ranked fighter, for sure. But, didn't happen, unfortunately. Hey, Aerop, how you doing, bud? Wait, what, Zell? I played a little bit of Virgil, but it was a little overwhelming. Hey Hugh, how you doing mate? I played a bit of Virgil, but I want to play it through with these ones. Uh, with uh, Dante, Virgil, and V first. I really liked V's playstyle at first, and then it got old. Yeah, really cool concept. I agree. You like a puppet character in an action game? That's that's a, and they did a pretty good job. I'll give them credit. They did a pretty good job, but it just it just wears a little thin right after a while. I haven't unlocked that many co um, combos with them yet. Yeah, Cavalier. Yeah, that was mo that's me too, Hugh. I just I just honestly go Tekken style and start mashing buttons when I'm playing as V. I'm playing on human, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh god, the corny one-liners in this are terrible. Oh yeah, okay, we have Cavalier, we have the guns. Uh, oh, we have some red orbs, let's see. School grades are very, very important, Viper. School grades are always important. Uh, definitely do not quit school for that. Make sure you have something to fall back on. Ha <laughs> ha.
Uh, all right. Oh, okay. We gotta get some. We gotta get some cavalier ones. What do we got? Yeah, we always go with that one. I don't need to try it. I'm just gonna learn it. Let's go. Uh, yep, we always gotta get the forward and back ones. What's breaking? Yes, absolutely. I want to crush them with it. Uh, oh man! All right, I guess we'll get slipstream too. All right. Uh, and then back, back. Yes. Let's get back into the action. I want to hit someone with a motorbike. Oh, uh, hey, uh, you guys will be happy to know I did uh, Rumble in the Bronx, the gang hideout fight scene uh, today. I just have to edit it, and I'll be posting it up after this. Hey, we're using the wrong weapon. Yes! There we go. Oh yeah, new favorite weapon, absolutely. Yeah, if it goes like any of the other ones, it's gonna get blocked. No. Ah, there we go. Pfft. These guys ain't got nothing on Cavalier. Oh, I love dad jokes, Cell. Hit me with your best one. Hey. Oh, what the hell? Oh, okay. That was easier than I thought. Oh, like that? Come on, buddy, try it. I dare ya. Oh, damn. <laughs> I looked away for a split second and he did it. Yes! Six skills. Yeah, we're all between 20 and 30, pretty much. That's our demographic here. There we go. Alright. Uh, there we go. So Hugh, are you into are you into martial arts or are you just uh, here to hang out and watch some Devil May Cry with us? Do I have a knee dog hatchling? No, I didn't think so. Mentally, Alicia. Oh, mentally, Zell. What the hell? Where are these needle catchlings? Oh, up here, okay. <sighs> How old are you, Jesus? You don't have to tell us if you don't want to. And we're all young at heart, that's all that matters, right? Yeah, my best friend back home has uh, just had his 50th, 50th birthday.
<laughs> uh, it doesn't matter as Viper as long as you got someone who's pushing you to be better. You wouldn't like mine. That's all that matters. Oh, nice, you. Yeah, that one was a crazy good fight, man. They did such a good job of, like, bringing real-life Mike Tyson into uh, into the Ip Man universe. They did such a good job of that. <laughs> What's up, Beitor? Being 15 again would be great. Oh. Doing the same move over and over again. Yes. Oh. Hey, Kadid, how you doing? Hey, Nas, how you doing, mate? Woo. Dude, I love the raid movies. I'm so glad there's still a couple fights we need to do from those. I haven't done them because I don't want to do all of them. Yeah, Donnie Yen even said that uh, Mike Tyson almost decapitated him. Uh, it depends what you mean, Viper, by gyms. Like, weightlifting gyms? Uh, if so, no. Because I, I, I have weights at my gym, so I just go there. Hey, sweet, we got an orb. Uh, I played the first one, Kadid. I played the first one. But, uh, I... <laughs> I, uh... I, um, am really, really bad at PvP games. So the UFC games just, like, stressed me out. Trying to compete online. And then playing against the computer always gets a bit boring, right? No, I don't go to Marsh last year. I own one. So, I teach there. I go to a, I do go, I do try and go to some other places to learn other things too, but not much right now. Yeah, Sho Kasugi's been coming up a lot. People have been asking for him a lot, just recently actually. Oh, yes, Zell, tell me a bad dad joke. Uh, I don't play fighting games that much, Viper, to be honest. So I'm sure that someone in chat will be able to help you out, though. Alright, so the bikes don't really work on this guy. Need something faster. Oh, I'm sorry, Zell. I must have missed it. My favorite dad joke of all time is, uh... Why do flamingos lift up one leg when they when they sleep? Oh, great. Crossroads. Decisions, decisions. Oh. Oh, whoa, okay, we're going up. And uh the answer is uh because if they lifted up both they'd fall over. Um I've rear naked choked my dog, Viper, but never, like, to try and finish it. Just messing with her, so I guess it works. Ah. I get it, Zell. That is pretty bad. Yeah, Jin, that's a classic one. Or, uh, the other one is... Uh, I got a haircut. Oh, did you get a haircut? No, I got all of them cut. That is a, a classic. Oh, 
Oh, Hugh, do it. Actually, really excited. I uh, I teach Brazilian Jiu Jitsu as well, Hugh, and I'm starting to teach again in uh, in uh, January, which I'm super excited for. It's been a little while since I've trained, so a little bit nervous to start teaching again. But yeah, what's up, Mike? Oh, nice Viper. You'll have a good time in Kyokushin. Kyokushin is a great fun. <laughs> no, wrestling a bear, not a good idea, definitely. But yeah, Hugh, uh, you should definitely get back into Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, man. Absolutely. I actually had an idea for a little skit series, and it's like how different martial artists get out of bed. And I was gonna do the one uh, Sambo and like jump out of bed, do a bunch of burpees, and then I have a giant stuffed teddy bear um, that I got for the dog, which she hates, and I was gonna start tackling that. Here comes the blood. Uh, when's that fight, Verdugo? I don't mind, Jin, if you want me to watch it, I'll check it out. Oh, that's cool, Camilla, that'll be fun. Weapons are always a good time. Yeah, I, uh, I started in karate when I was younger, Hugh, and then uh, I did Kyokushin, Shotokan, and Ashihara for about 10 years. Um, and now I've done Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for about 8. I've done Muay Thai for about 12. Oh, uh, oh, Verdugo, um, I'm not sure. Uh, when is the fight between Wonderboy and Bilal? Is it this weekend? Hey, good for you. Yeah, man, good for you, Hugh. That's awesome. Jiu-Jitsu will definitely do that. So will Karate. Uh, I gotta pick. I gotta pick Wonderboy Verdugo. But honestly, I've never seen ba Bilal Muhammad fight, so I wouldn't. I don't know. Yeah, but that's that's McGregor Viper. Don't uh, don't put all your eggs in becoming the next McGregor basket, buddy. Just just trust me on that one. Ah, okay. No, I'm I'm excited for the one this weekend, the Oliveira and um, I always want to say Pereira Poirier fight. Oops, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Uh, Alright, how do we get back? Can I jump out that way? 
Oh, I can go oh, out over there. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, it should be a good fight. We're, uh, we're putting it on at the gym and we're going to watch it with uh, all the students. It's going to be like our Christmas party for the adults. It's going to be a good time. Hmm, all right. Ah, knee dog hatchling. There we go. I guess we go to the other side now. There we go. It definitely is sometimes, Beethor. It definitely is. I'm with you, Verdugo. I don't think he's relevant either. I mean, I'm always excited when Connor actually is going to fight and he's training hard for it. I'm excited for that because when he does fight and when he fights well, it's insane. Like, the cowboy fight was just wild. I'd never seen anyone do that before. But uh, most of the time he just talks too much. And I can't stand it. Damn it, I tried to dodge, I missed. Uh, it depends on the day, Viper. It depends on the day. Like, right now, end of the day, probably I don't have abs. <laughs> I haven't checked. Well, I do, but you can't see them. But, uh, yesterday, I, I trained really hard yesterday. Had a sauna, and so, uh... And I was, I was, I was feeling my, I was feeling pretty good yesterday. I was feeling myself yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think there should have been a Connor and Aldo rematch. I definitely think so. And then people saying like, Jose Aldo was champion for what, like ten years, and then people are like, oh, just don't. Uh, he doesn't deserve a rematch now. Like, what the hell? That's insane. It's so stupid. Like, oh, he's a champ for 10 years, gets knocked out with one punch, and then it's like, oh, yeah, he doesn't deserve a rematch. Like, what the hell? Show Aldo some respect. Put some respect on Aldo's name. Yeah, the second you sit down, they go away. Alright, we finally soaked this place with enough blood. I'm with you, Beethor, absolutely. I would have loved to see that rematch. Ooh, chocolate sounds really good, Camillo. I'm crashing pretty hard tonight, guys. I'll be honest with you, I am beat. Having a hard time focusing on the game and on the chat. <laughs> the uh, although, what do you think of the Nunez Pena fight this weekend? Anyone have any bets? Uh, yeah, I did. I did have dinner, Viper. I might need to get some sleep early. <laughs> I'm with you, Beto. Absolutely, I think it's a no contest between her and Pena. <laughs> Are you trying to hit me with the pickup lines, Mike? Oh, you did it, Alicia. Never mind. Oh, customize. What do we got? We got stuff to spend. I don't think so. Ah, no. That's okay. I think that like they're just going through the list now and being like, who hasn't fought Amanda? You! In you go. Uh, never trained at Viper. Uh, 
yeah, Nunez is insane. And what she did to Cyborg was crazy. Like, no one should be able to do that to Cyborg. Whoop. I don't think there is Verdugo, hey? They're just, they're literally just like picking the list and like, ah, uh, you'll do, there you go. The demonic power was activated in me once. My favorite pickup line is, I'm not normally this tall, I'm just sitting on my wallet. That's a good one. Why did my father give me the rebellion? <laughs> that sounds like a Nunez fight, Beto. I know. This is our chat is devolving, Tim. I remember when Cyborg was uh, fighting that that lady from like some Russian uh, fight, like fight promotion. And they put the, the videos of them, like Cyborg and her wrecking people, and then they put up this chick. And the second I saw it, I was like, oh no. Oh no, she's gonna get murdered by Cyborg. She was like, half as fast, couldn't knock people out, terrible jujitsu. It was, it was brutal. And then, yeah, she got destroyed. Yeah, that was savage, Verdugo. Absolutely, I've never seen that happen to Cyborg, ever. I love how he has the Mega Man Buster on his arm. <laughs> he does, Beto, yes he does. So, uh, speaking of the Exorcist, Mike, uh, my buddy is a huge Exorcist fan. It is his, um, it's his favorite movie of all time. And his favorite scene is when um, uh, Regan comes down the stairs, like bent over on her hands. And I found that photo of that scene signed by the actress who played Regan McNeil. And I got that for him for Christmas. He's going to be so stoked. All right. Devil Sword Dante. All right. Really in Devil Sword spot. Okay. Conjures swords that attack autonomously. All right. All right. All right. Damn it, no! Get in there. Princess Mononoke is a great movie. Damn, that was almost felt a little too easy. All this time, and you still don't get it. <laughs> I 
Oh, see if I do go have lunch. Sorry, I kind of missed a bunch of the chat. The Rock is a great movie, Beto. I'm with you. A bad one, Jin. <laughs> that house plant. <laughs> yeah, you can't let Kylo Ren fall to his death. Someone asked me my favorite horror movie the other day, and I honestly didn't know what to say. I don't really know if I watch any horror movies. Con Air was a good movie, Mike. I want to see. We got a trophy before. Don't mess with the best or something like that. What was it? Ah, okay. Hey, sweet. We got one. Awesome. I guess I, I guess I like zombie movies. If anything, I like zombie movies. I love those like most haunted places uh, shows. Tim, those are so good. I get so creeped out by them. I liked Dawn of the Dead, actually. What is your reason after? He's at the top. I'm the Clyphod. It's the other way around, Dante. This is the lowest level of the Clyphod's upper echelon. Human blood is the source of demons' power. The fruit born through the Clyphod is even more dense than the blood that created it. Its power is unparalleled. Even the almighty moon yeah, Shaun of the Dead is great, Jin. That's okay. Let's say that's my favorite horror movie. Yeah, well, that's a lovely story and all, but as long as we know where to find them. Whoa, you are the infamous Dante. <laughs> um, I'm Nicoletta Goldstein. Nico, best girl. <laughs> um, my grandmother is Nell Goldstein. Gunsmith that made all your ah. weapons that you've got trapped back there. <laughs> yeah, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> Ebony and Ivory. Mm, you don't much look like her. Yeah, I got my looks from my daddy. That's about all I got from him. But based on his research, I, I managed to cobble this. Um, a, a, a cowboy hat? <laughs> Please tell me he wears that for the rest of the game. Please tell me I can choose to wear it. Oh. <laughs> what the? <gasps> oh. <laughs> What is this game? They really pulled out all the stops when they made this one, hey? Right here. You don't understand. It's not what I mean. Let him go, Dante. It better be another weapon I can use. Time is a luxury that we can no longer afford. We must chase after him post haste. I really I want them to put the hat on V. Does that mean you're going to? And see him get uh taken over by the spirit of Michael Jackson. 
had to say, Mr. Poetry. I'm gonna go my way, and you guys can go yours. Let's just say that's the best for the cause. It's like it's gonna it's gonna give me yes. Wait, what? We can actually <gasps> We actually get to wear it? Yes. Oh, an L forward square lets you own a ton more red orbs. Strike foes with a hat, then go on the offensive. See ya, Mike. Have a good one, bud. Oh, we gotta go Dante. Yeah, we gotta go this one. Done. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, it's a gun. Alright. Oh, I actually didn't know that, Camillo. Thank you. Oop, all right, there goes, whoops. What is that thing? All right, so we're using Faust. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. So what happens if we use gunslinger with this thing? Oh, I like that. Ah, get out of here. There we go. It might be PS exclusive. This is the PS5 uh, deluxe edition. Yeah, this is in the special edition. Hey, get out of here. Um, oh, um, Final Fantasy 7 is coming to PC. It was a timed PlayStation exclusive. I'm not sure when it comes to PC, but uh, it is. From what I know, anyway. I think Rebellion is now my new favorite weapon. Oh, thank you, BB. There we go. Let's try this out. Let's see if I can get exactly 666 orbs. Ah, we go down. Okay. Damn it. Oh, I was close. It might be time to forego that now. Well, 
they did that to get everyone excited for the um, uh, Integrate release, right? I haven't played Crash Bandicoot 4 yet, but Reagan is obsessed with Crash Bandicoot 1 through 3. I gave uh, I gave Alicia my old PS4 for a while, but then uh, I knew a kid who got kicked out of his house, so I took it back and gave it to him. Oh, what's this over here? Oh, hello. What are you? I don't know what you are. I don't know about that echo. I don't know if there are or not. It, the, the, I'll tell you this though, the controllers for the PS5 suck. It's been like a year and this one is already sticking. Like the triangle button is basically like unusable now. It's making it very, very difficult to play this, I will say that. Uh, let's see. I want I want ones for this. Rolling. Oh, hello. What's this? Yes, please. Yep. Oh, okay. It's going to buy them all. Like, it's annoying because they're like $90 or something, right? And then they just fall apart after like a year. It's super annoying. Yeah, exactly, right? My old PS4 one lasted forever.
Oh, hey, we finally got a triple S rank. Is there ever an end to these things? I have the opposite problem, Zell. I've been looking at the game so long, I have no idea what chat's doing. Last time I looked, it was a singles bar down there. There we go. Ooh, we did it. I thought we did anyway. Oh, that was exhausting. Hey, sweet. We still get some more. Hey, I was thinking next week of maybe trying out that fights in tight spaces thing. What do you guys think? Or if we don't finish this tonight, which I don't think I have it in me to finish this tonight. Um, we might end up coming back and just finishing this instead. Oh, there's um the fights in tight spaces is a video game, Camillo. It's on Steam. It's like a card-based, like deck-based roguelike with uh like fighting. It looks really cool. It's an interesting concept. It looks really cool. Fights in phone booths is amazing. I want to. I want to watch more of that so badly. It's on Fight Circus, but just don't look up FightCircus.com uh, when other people are around because there's some other weird stuff on there. You know what? I've never seen a Kubrick movie. I don't think. Never seen Space Odyssey, never seen Full Metal Jacket, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. I've never seen a Kubrick film. Oh, wait, no, that's a lie. I've seen The Shining. I have seen The Shining. Oof. All right, guys. That is it for me. I do have to finish up there. Yeah, don't, don't do it without people around. I looked it up the other day, and there's just, yeah, some not safe for work stuff, like right on the front page. Never seen it, Echo. There we go. All right. I have to go buy another bloody controller. <laughs> Stupid thing. Maybe it's only Devil May Cry it doesn't like because I keep mashing it. There we go. All right, guys. Uh, I don't even know what it's about, Echo. I honestly don't even know. I've heard of that one, but I don't know what it's about. 
uh, extend. There we go. Boom. <laughs> All right, guys. It's been a blast. It's been weird. You guys have been great. <laughs> Thanks for coming and hanging out. I'm sorry, Zell. I'm honestly like, I'm so tired. The screen when I'm looking at it is blurry. I don't even know what I'm doing. My eyes just want to shut. I'm so sleepy. <laughs> I was playing and I wasn't even watching what I was playing, Zell. It's just been a, a week of really late nights, really early mornings, and uh, a bunch of training, so I'm just kind of beat. Ugh. <laughs> but, oh, Alicia, no, I'm just going to go to bed. I'm just going to go to bed. <laughs> I'm not even going to wait for Reagan to come home. I'm just going to go to sleep. Ugh. Actually, I think I've seen The Last Samurai Camillo. A long time ago, but I think I've seen that one. <laughs> Maybe, Zell. Maybe. <laughs> no, Camillo, I got stuff to do, man. I got I got stuff to do. I've got six months of... Uh, I got a year's worth of classes to plan, so it's going to be great. Plus, I have another course to finish over Christmas break. <laughs> Yes, Tim, you definitely should. But, uh, all right, guys, I'm going to go. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Always a great time. I always look forward to seeing you guys on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, yeah. I I'll leave the chat up for a little bit. You guys can talk amongst yourselves for another five minutes or so, if you like. Anyway, guys, as always, have a great night. Stay awesome. See yous. <laughs>